In this video, we're going to go over the step-by-step -step guide on how to update the BIOS for AMD's latest X670 chipset motherboards using Easy Flash method. In our case, we're using ASUS motherboard, but other motherboard manufacturers process should be the same. But please follow motherboard manufacturer guideline because BIOS update can break your motherboard. This means it could damage your motherboard if done incorrectly. This includes sudden power loss, incorrect BIOS version, rebooting the system during BIOS update and more. So let's get started. The process is very simple and easy. Navigate to the motherboard vendor website, ASUS in our case, and find the exact board you're using. Don't settle for close enough and find the exact product. Go to the drivers and utility page, then look for latest BIOS, download the latest BIOS that is relevant to your motherboard, find the BIOS you have downloaded, and unzip it. Read the BIOS instructions. In our case, ASUS has included the BIOS renamer tool to rename the BIOS to correct format. Run the BIOS renamer and it will complete the rename process. And then press any key to exit. Then copy the BIOS file in the root of the USB drive. You can either format the USB. I would recommend using FAT32 format when you're formatting the USB drive. But some manufacturers allows NTFS format as well. Please check motherboard's manufacturer for detail. Leave the USB plug into the system and reboot the system into BIOS. In my case, I have to keep pressing Dell key in order to boot into the BIOS. So please check your motherboard manufacturer's BIOS options. So when boot into the BIOS, navigate to the system information to find the current BIOS version. Make a note in case you need to roll back. Navigate to the advanced mode or F7 in our case. Then go to the tool menu, select ASUS Easy Flash, then select the USB device, then select the BIOS file and make sure it is a correct BIOS file you have downloaded then proceed and select it to perform the BIOS update process. Accept the prompt after the review and allow the BIOS flash to continue. Do not interrupt this process. If it looks like there's no progress, be patient and walk away from it. Restarting now can damage something. In my case, it took around 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient. Once the BIOS update is complete, system will reboot. One thing to note, after the BIOS update, I find out my memory settings were changed and the memory was running on low speed. So I reapply the BIOS settings that I like and then press F10 to save and exit. You can always load optimized default settings to keep your system stable. In my case, I had to reapply the memory profile, save it and reboot and get back into the BIOS. And as you can see, system memory is now running at correct frequency. Always remember, updating BIOS can help in few ways. The main reason is to improve system performance, fix known bugs and more. Please check the BIOS detail for more information. Here you have it. You have successfully updated your motherboard BIOS using Easy Flash method. If you like this video, please like and sub to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.